the first root of humanistic Judaism is something called the Jewish people. Not the Jewish religion. It's the Jewish people. Before there ever was a Jewish religion, or whatever you want to call it, uh, there was this entity called the Jewish people. If you go to the Bible, the Bible does not regard the Jews as a religious denomination. The Bible refers to the Jews as an Am. The word Am is people. Uh, you can translate it as nation. When the Jews started out, they were a collection of families, clans, and tribes. And if you put two Jews in one room, you got what? Five philosophies of life from the very beginning. Because any family has what? Diversity. You don't kick people out of the family because you're uh, a Republican and they're a Democrat or vice versa or whatever. They're members of the family. And so we started out uh, as this family of people, uh, initially uh, connected by ancestral memories. Because even in the Bible, the Jews are described as the descendants of. I mean, all Methodists aren't descended from John Wesley, right? All Lutherans aren't descended from Martin, Martin Luther. Uh, uh, the Jews are a people, and that's very important to understand. And throughout their history, or throughout our history, the belief systems of our people have changed. Because what we believe when we were in a shepherd culture is very different from what we believe when we're living in an urban, do you understand, technological culture with internet. And, and to pretend that there's no change is ridiculous. The continuity is the family. Got it? So if you think of the, of the Jews historically as a family, got it? it's a family that was created or that emerged, it wasn't created, it emerged some uh, 3,000 years ago. It was 